Good morning, church. Thank you for joining us for another online worship. What a gift to be with you here in this way, um, using this technology. Hey, I want to say a quick word about this song that you're, that you're about to hear. In light of the current uh, racial tensions and in support of the protests against racism, uh, white people like me can do a few things. We can vote, we can donate to causes that uplift black folks, and importantly, and to be clear, what I'm trying to do here is to amplify black voices. That's my intent in sharing this with you. My wife Tara and I had the opportunity to meet William Matthews, who co-wrote this song with Lisa Gunger. William comes from an evangelical background, and he was even uh, a worship leader in that uh, for Bethel Music. His journey took a turn when he started to ask questions and to dive deep into theology. And he was mostly cast out of, of that group and of that community. Uh, he and Lisa Gunger wrote this song in 2016 about the racial tensions of the time and police violence against the black community. William was influenced by black liberation theology, um, which I would encourage you to take a look at. It's the framing of the gospel in light of the African American and the African experience, for example, during segregation and apartheid. At the beginning of William's new album, Cosmos, uh, he includes a very poignant quote from James Cone, uh, the Reverend James Cone, a scholar of liberation theology. And I'd like to share that with you now uh, before our song begins. Thank you, church. You are looking at it from the perspective of those who win. You have to see it from the perspective of those who have no power. In fact, God is love because it's that power in your life that lets you know you can resist the definitions that other people are being placing on you. And you sort of say, sure, nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Sure, there is slavery. Sure, there is lynching, segregation. But glory, hallelujah. Now, that glory, hallelujah, is the fact that there is a humanity and a spirit that nobody can kill. And as long as you know that, you will resist. That was the power of the civil rights movement. That was the power of those who, who kept marching even though the odds are against you. How do you keep going when you don't have the battle tanks, when you don't have the guns, when you don't have the military power, when you have nothing? How do you keep going? How do you know that you're a human being? You know because there's a power that transcends all of that.
Well, 